Hey YouTube, so uh, I wanted to make a review of this game I've just been playing for the past few days, Fallout New Vegas. I'm gonna start off right away by saying it's one of the most fun games I've ever played. I'm actually playing it right now. I like it a lot. I didn't really like the Fallout 3, but okay, hear me out. I did like Fallout 3, the gameplay was a lot of fun, but I, I sold it really early because of the fact that, you know, when I was playing, I have a lot of friends at school who, you know, they tell me everything about the game, they ruined the game, I knew where every single behemoth was. After having the game for like two days, it was it's kind of boring, I knew every secret, there's nothing to discover anymore. So I'm keeping my wits to myself this time. When I got this game, I don't talk to anyone about it. I play this on my own time, without anyone here, in my lonesome, in my underpants, and I have a lot of fun with it. And, you know, I'm learning so much about this game, and... I'm playing it my own way, you know, you'll, there's a lot of people who, they'll stack all their stats, you know, the highest gun power, or do the most damage. How I play it, though, is I like to stack... I did 10 perception, which I, I learned later on it's never good to do 10 because you can get implants or whatever. I went to 10 perception because I like, to, you know, I like lock picking and stuff like that because I can break in, into different places and find a lot more items. So that's just how I play. I like to be a scavenger. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can make in this game. Anyways, um, on to the actual view of the game. What are you sure? I mean, I don't know. If if you're an RPG kind of guy, you you definitely probably like this. First of all, if you're an RPG kind of person, you've probably played Fallout 3, and if you like that, you you're gonna like this. I mean, to be honest, this game is a giant expansion of Fallout 3. That's all it is. It's a full price expansion of Fallout. Think of like think of like the ripoff that ODST was, except it's not really a ripoff. It's a lot of fun. It's a gigantic game. I mean, ODST, sixty dollars for another campaign. Are you kidding me? Come on. And Firefight. Oh wow. Yeah, whatever. Um, no, but this game, I, I find it a lot of fun. I'm glad I paid 60 bucks. I had to change batteries. This stupid flip ultra goes through double A's faster than Justin Bieber goes through tampons. Anyways, oh, and one thing, I have an Xbox that actually the camera, if, if I turn the camera around, you can see I have an Xbox right behind it. The reason I got it for the PC instead of the Xbox is the fact that when I played Oblivion on the PC, it's very, very moddable. I guess all Bethesda games are like that. I mean, you can mod pretty much anything on the PC, but the Bethesda games, when you, when you mod them like that, there's a lot of cool different varieties you can do. I'm not going to mod right now. I'm going to finish the game first, but after that, I'm going to start playing with, you know, console commands, all the cool stuff, modding the game, just messing around pretty much with it, everything they have in the game. Well, anyways, though, but in the game, I've never, I haven't really found a spot that's boring yet. I've been playing for, let me see, check real quick. Wow, I've been playing for about 10 hours now, which isn't much compared to like everyone I know spending their entire days at home playing this friggin' 700 hours. But it's only been off like a few days. Yeah, I haven't gotten bored of this game yet. I mean, each quest is pretty cool. I found my first few death claws. You know, if you play Fallout 3, you know what they are, and they're pretty friggin' retarded. The only way I can kill one was he was stuck in a trailer and I had to shoot him with uh, armor piercing rounds. That was fun. And he didn't drop anything. And all the quests seemed pretty well thought out. I mean, pretty creative. Oh, and a cool new system they added into this was, um, you can actually reload your ammo, meaning, like, you know, you find shells and stuff on the floor, and if you get primers and stuff like that, you can remake your own bullets, so that's gonna save a lot of, you know, bottle caps and getting bullets, and another feature of that is you can break down bullets you have, like extra bullets, and you can take the materials, the regions from that, and you can make other bullets that you need, so say you have, like, a bunch of 308 bullets, but you have no gun with 308, or you don't use a gun with 308 bullets, you break them all down, you take the primer, and you can make... 357 volts. I don't know, some some kind of primer. I don't know what primers use for, use for 357s, but you get what I'm saying. You know, you take the regions from one bullet, break it down, and you can use it to build other bullets. So you can have a giant surplus of bullets. I mean, with my 10 millimeter, I have 180 bullets in my 10 millimeter. Um, wow, I have like 274, what is this, 357? Yeah, 274 357 mag bullets, and I haven't cheated once in this game. I've been playing completely legitly, so... I have a lot of ammo in this game, and it, it's it's a pretty cool system. Then again, I do also steal a lot. One, one thing that's weird is I spent my entire game stealing and killing people, and yeah, I'm still a good guy. It says I'm a dignitary. I'm not even neutral, I'm a good guy still. I mean, what can I do? I mean, it's not a problem to me that I'm, I'm good in the game. It's just, what do you have to do to become bad in this game? They want me to execute a whole town in the street and strip their bodies naked, and I mean, is that good enough to get a bad reputation in this game? I've been getting straight bad karma, bad karma, bad karma, but I'm still a good guy. I've been rambling a lot now, so I'm going to just wrap it up right now. Um, I'd, I'd give the game a 9 out of 10. I haven't read any other reviews, so I'm not really biased. Oh, wow, my phone ruined the shot. I'm not really biased on, you know, other reviews by IGN or GameSpot or all that. But I'm probably going to go read those after I'm done uploading the video, and then I'll see what they give it. I, but like I said, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's a lot of fun, and I think everyone should check it out. And keep it low-key. If you can't afford the $60 to pay for this game, there's always ways to get it for free. But yeah, check it out, and I'll see you for my next review or video, whatever. Just subscribe, though, because I got a lot of stuff coming. It's cool. Peace!
Thank you.